The Imperium of Man. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself. For there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-reefed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnisire's holy cause. The Scholar Progenium molds callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic Sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man and his time is coming once more. We're out. Praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress hymnals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral, the year, it's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. And Cadia, the hymnals report that it's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral, Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154-554. This isn't over. Such turbulence. Not since the Eye of Terror have I felt anything like it. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium writhes, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far, but not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropath send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun. Oh. Another so-called warrior come to charge his blade. I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Not this day, lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the Warmaster's throne. We shall see. Ready main batteries. Coordinates acknowledged. Fire the torpedoes! But yeah, welcome to the Imperial Target campaign of Battlefleet Gothic 2. Cadia falls. Underway. But the Emperor protects. 
So I played the uh, prologue. Obviously, this is now the uh, beta for the next version of this. Engaging target. Lock on. Better accuracy. Heading acknowledged. Give me those crits. Impossible, Admiral. There we go. Smash that thing out of the sky. You're maybe 800 years too late for the 12th Crusade. But the 13th Crusade will not claim you, Admiral Spire. We quitted it. Burn it to hell. How fast he's firing? Can I hit it here? Fire. Okay. Bit too slow. They are just too late. Okay. Changing course. Engaging. There we go. Smash it to it. In fact. Oh, cannot do that. Okay. Burn it to hell! Literally, back to the war, it must go. So yes, we are entering the Imperial Campaign. I'm not sure how long we have within the Imperial Campaign for this part, but we're going to do it anyway. Underway. We'll see what the interest is. So of course, there's also uh, multiplayer active now, skirmish is active now versus AI, and the beginning of the Necron Campaign is also active. Although I'd love to play the Tyranid Campaign, which is not yet available. Understood. Smash it! I swear if I lose against a destroyer with a cruiser, I'm going to be very course. upset. Setting course. Coordinates acknowledged. Come on. There we go. Understood. Wipe out. Oh, it's run out of turrets. You can't shoot any anymore, but it can send me troops, apparently. How are you still firing? Never mind, you're dead. Engaged. You're sure about every ship of the Chaos for all? The sons of Mars stand ready for your orders. Excellent. Their firepower will be a great asset. Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Of course we do. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. We'll see them ended. Cambrius's flagship wasn't be destroyed either. Lord, okay. Where's Cambrius? Okay, you're Cambrius. Engaging drive. Okay, so we don't give a damn about the frigate apparently. With matchless efficiency. Spin it round. Okay. Thruster routines active. Do a spin. Engaging target. Primary one. Primary two. Calculating vectors. There we go. Fire at will. Okay, you're gonna get better reload speed. There we go. Smash them to the depths of hell. Or we can make them retreat if we get one more jump on them. No, we can't. Because the frigate can go through the asteroid field easily. Perfect. Better range. Smash and dash. Destroy them. Bloody raiders. So this is about the tutorial. Because I can't access the next ones until I complete the tutorial of the Imperial campaign. So I'm assuming this is very tutorial-y right now. We shall find out. Together. While Imperial wipes out chaos. Look at the designs. What are they, missile turrets? What have you actually got on you? Cheer for the Emperor! Oh, you're actually being damaged, oh, damn it. Engines. Move! As you can see, there's a little bit of, like style bold stuff which still exists. So hopefully they sort that out. That just Reaching a little bit on. speed. Mutant it! They're retreating! Engaging! Now they're dead. That's a, yeah, that's a kill shot. That's blatantly a kill shot. Okay, I'd like you to be at uh, engagement 
range three. No, engagement range six is there, yeah, three. Go for engagement range three. You need to have engagement range six sorted out. Get closer. There we go. You take the hits. While I rearm and reload the shield. Come on, Raider. Kill the irredeemable madness. I think I do like this game. I like the first one. There wasn't too much interest in the series I was doing at the time, but I do like the, this game. And I want to see how they've changed it, because obviously it gets a little bit similar after a while. There we go. Deck damaged. No, 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 no. Setting course. Okay. Weapons calibrated. There we go. That's the last of them, my lord. Back to normal speed. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. Yay! It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. I don't have a pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Apodol at my side. Oh god. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. Here they come. Changing course. Seems they've come in strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. He doesn't protect that much anymore. Abilities are unfavorable. Recommend we withdraw. All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Oh, there's the space marines. And Emperor. Is that what I think it is? The sons of dawn heed your call, Lord Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is well enough, but hope and faith okay. bring victory sooner. Wipe out that one first. Never ends, Lord Admiral. That one second. We shall fight it together. Okay. Move. What have you got? Okay, you are light cruiser Vanguard. Launch your Thunderhawks against that target. Utter the canticles of battle. Oh wow, what was that? Just they just, they just wiped out me fighters. Come on. Underway. Impossible, Admiral. Okay, scan. Wipe out the small destroyers, I'm gonna take out the cruiser last. The smaller ones obviously not as much damage, but they are more numerous and weaker. For the Emperor! How you doing? Pick a target. Come on. Targeting enemy vessel. Target on screens. Keep targeting. That one's gone. Engaging target. Here we go. Well, your weapons on the front or the side? I can't remember if these entirely on the side. Okay, but they do have a big gun on the front too. Perfect. There we go, kill it. Hopefully we'll catch it as it turns or force it to turn this way. Oh. Oh. One hit. Impossible, Admiral. Come on. Impossible, Admiral. Oh, take the generator. There we go. How are we doing? Take it. Take it. Take out the guns. Come on. Burn him to the depths of hell. I keep saying that. I like that phrase. God knows why. Okay, still losing crew. Not using any guns yet, as far as I can tell. 
Thunderhawk, Annihilators, enemy squadrons and torpedoes. Launch them. Don't fear deploying space marines. There's a repair, good. Didn't even notice that, that massive button. The spirits obey. Come on. There's not many men left, come here. Engaging engines. There we go, they're on red, they're very unhappy of life. There we are. Last traitor vessel destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. That was a tip. Ships. Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. The challenge before us is bleak. Oh wow. But we shall prevail if the Emperor wills it. The despoiler will be driven back. But we need support. We must secure planetary systems within the battle zone. These will provide us the necessary means to strengthen our fleets. Okay, so today I have one active fleet of each one. Sectors, Admiral Spire's force is located in the Cadian sector. A sector is constituted, constituted of several systems whose conquest allows you to progress through the campaign. Okay. So there's 12, there's, there's 7, let's see, I'm in a system. I need 12 systems to control this Cadian sector. That's a lot of chaos. The threat variable says the will of an enemy faction to conquer a sector. The higher it is, the more that faction will be active there. Okay. The urgency gate symbolizes the urgency of a situation facing enemy factions. It fills up each turn and drops when you fulfill objectives. Huh. Okay. The urgency gate is divided into five segments. When a segment is filled, the threat variable enemy factions is raised by one. Last time it's filled, the campaign ends in failure. Ooh, there's a time effort to this. Ooh. There can be one of several points of interest in each system. Each one is linked to attributes that have different effects depending on the faction controlling the system. Can I upgrade this? Hive World. After several turns under your control, points of interest may be evolved by spending resources. Effects provided by these points of interest may vary depending. So I can generate 10 to 20 to 40 resources per turn. So I can upgrade it. So it gives me more resources per turn, increases troop generation per turn, but it also doubles the amount of evolution. Okay, Spires is this one. binary has much to offer our future operations. But it is occupied by chaos forces. We shall sweep them aside and restore the Emperor's rule to this stolen world. I got a new ship. Defeat enemy forces stationed in the system to take control of it. Neutral systems are seized as soon as one of your fleets moves in. The fleet power possesses the might of a fleet. Depends on the value, health, and other parameters of the ships. Fleets have a pool of movement that replenishes at the start of each turn. They travel through a safe route between systems next to the cost of one movement point per system crossed. So the enemy is 143, we're 165. I believe we can do this. There will be many risks in the days to come. I need not take one here. Deploying a second fleet to Demios Binary will ease our victory. Well, yeah. So we're deploying you two. Okay. We're deploying the Adeptus Mechanicus too, which will weaken the me. Victory is all but certain, but caution must serve as well as haste. Recklessness is a terrible master. Maximum of three fleets can be in any one system. However, fleets can move through a system. So as you can see, you can only have one of each fleet type right now. Use this to select it. Okay. Oh, now I can select kill. Chaos. The engagement board allows you to make the final preparations. Uh-huh. Your leadership value represents a maximum calculated fleet that can be deployed. So the higher my leadership, the more ships I can deploy. Ships that cannot be deployed due to leadership rotation will replace lost ships during battle. The top fleet will be deployed first. Drag and drop 
to change. Protect your faction leader. His death will put an end to your campaign. So he's actually the greatest thing we need. We lose him, we lose the game. Oh God. Ten thousand years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus Heresy. Ten millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Luperkel may be dead, his body ashes, and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend. But the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his 13th and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. Well, the Emperor's not protecting that. And we're ready. Let's begin. So we only have three ships. Like we have a cruiser, a light cruiser, and a frigate. So we have two admirals on the field. Imperial. Underway. And Adeptus Mechanicus. As you can see, they are completely different ship design styles. Completely. Look to at that. The but that frigate looks generic. But yeah, look at that. So the Adeptus is all about... It's got guns on the front and the side. Hmm. Okay, what you got? Technical probe, stasis bomb. No, oh, you got stasis bomb. Can I just auto that? No, I can't auto that. Okay. Aye, Admiral. So what are you doing? Am I capturing? I am capturing. Your orders? Change your Go there and go fast. Ship ready. Course engaged. Let's do this. So we're capturing points right now. We serve. Okay, the enemy's up there on the left. Aye, Admiral. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Yeah, well, they're about to be seized by death. Receiving your order. Calculating vectors. Okay, we're capturing two positions. Ship ready. Heading acknowledged. Oh, there it goes. So we own... seized a strategic okay. area. Advance forwards. We wait your command. Back to normal. So we're behind them right now, but we do have more your points orders? captured in one go. The enemy will have to push onto our position. Looks like only one ship as well. State your order. You have seized a strategic area. I know. That's you amazing this way. Strategic area. Just going to go that way and come out of there. We serve. So you to advance straight up. Maximum burn. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Well, we own more than them. Here we go, we're engaging. Acknowledged. What is this? Micro warp jump. Really? Enemy 
sighted. Engage. We wait your command. Utter the canticles of battle. And you're gonna come straight for this. Understood. Go. You still gotta wipe out the actual enemy ship. Raise the firepower. Setting course. God damn it! Turn towards the enemy. The there we Emperor. are. Course engaged. Bow there. Understood. Damn it! It stopped. That's cheating. Heading acknowledged. Enemy sighted. I don't get any sights right next to me. There we go. Acknowledged. They're losing troops and boom. Engaging. Come on. So our first actual engagement you outside have accumulated of. Twenty-five percent of strategic points. Thank you. I'm amazing, Netflix. Stop Engage questioning me. Electromagnetic baffles. They're stealthing at the back, so they can actually help out. They're doing anything. Stasis bomb them. Castellan manifold teleported. Aye, Admiral. That was the soldier. Not happy with that. Ship ready. Oh, got it. Target locked in. Energize vectored thrust. We are ready to serve. Underway. There we go. Changing course. Perfect. Your orders? Many. Varied. Of course I have orders. What a weird question. Accumulated 25% of strategic points. Yeah, I'm sure their mothers are very proud of them. We wait your command. They may have noticed what we're doing, they may be heading back for my frigates. Come on. Not gonna survive. But they are I trying am. to head back for it. Another weapon down! Your orders? Come on, finish him off! We're not gonna win by we just serve. capturing points, we're gonna win by pure destruction. Ship ready. But we are gonna stop them from taking points too. There we go. Course engaged. Victory! The Emperor protects. Although not right now. Right now the fallen Shogun protects and murders. Glory, why are you spinning so much? Oof. Ugh. Okay, so what is this? We've leveled up, we gained more people. Renown points, accumulating renown will allow you to reach new renown. Huh. Which will increase your command capacity and leadership and grant access to new ships, okay? Ships gain experience after battle. Each new level grants morale, skill, weapon, critical. Okay, the usual stuff. When a, re when a leader reaches experience level 4, his fleet's movement points increase by 1. And that's for every 4 levels. So, we're not going to there yet, although we did seem to lose people. Wait. The first victory is ours. Others will follow should we remain true to our duty. Battles <laughs> leave scars. I must be mindful of my vessel's condition. The reclamation of Demius Binary has taken our enemy by surprise. The Claustrum system is exposed. We shall push our advantage. If the fleet is to grow, we must have access to production facilities. If Claustrum falls to our forces, we shall have them. Okay, so we need to take Clawston. Which is there. So that's going to be pushed straight away. Let's do it. And capture. So, resource construction points are most valuable as they're to construct new ships. Expected. Construction points, yeah. Ship of construction points, yeah. So, it's saying that these troops take damage. This ship is stable damage and has to repair over time in a 
owned territory. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Ship yours, get construction points each turn so they reach the maximum value. Okay. Capture. I'm going to see what happens in the next episode, I'm afraid to say. So I've been the Fallen Shogun. It's been the beginning of the Cadian Sector Imperial Assault. Either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. Charles for now, people. Bye-bye.